mirror, crosswind bends the willow, push the flower up the sleeve, one finger divides, China, press, 10,000 pounds, dragon leaps from sea, dragon plays in the water, four fingers face the sky, dragon serves a pearl, dragon spits the pearl, Suppress the tiger, hide the dragon. Beauty looks in the mirror. Crosswind bends the willow. Push the flower up the sleeve. One finger divides China. Press 10,000 pounds. Dragon leaps from sea. Dragon plays in the water. Four fingers face the sky. Dragon serves a pearl. Wind punching method. Dragon spits the pearl. Sweep in front. Sweep behind. Graze the sun and moon. Feet together. Now, sweep in front, sweep behind begins iron body. The parts after that, of course, are the body of iron body. So, Sweep front, sweep behind is the first actual motion that starts it. But because we don't know the hands, I'm going to stand and we're going to go over the palms. Okay, so then we put the feet together, copy my hands, raise the sun and moon, right? So when you raise sun and moon, we were chambered and we come up. Boom. Right? We're chambered, straight up. motion is to equally elbow both directions. You'll notice one will go more than the other, or one will go higher and lower, or vice versa. One way you can be sure that you're getting yours as even as possible is to do it in the mirror. If you have a mirror at home, go ahead and stand in front of your mirror and open the shoulders and make sure that they're not up one higher than the other, which is normal for most people. Uh, but you want to try to get yours as even as possible because you want your form to be symmetrical, at least in iron body. So from here, Vulture cools its wings and double bow spears of flower, which is essentially double suppress the tiger, hide the dragon. Right? You'll see this later in your leopard section in Master's Path, or if you were watching earlier, you saw it during leopard. Now, duck traverses water. And what does traverse mean? Traverse means to move through or to pass through. So, duck traverses water. If you've seen a duck on the lake, swimming through the water or moving through the water that that was traversing through the water. The part that you can't see, which you can look up online, is how the how the, the duck uses its webbed feet for paddles, right? So pulling back, boom, 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 and it creates a swimming motion, right? Or an outside block motion, or what we call duck traverses water, right? So it's Big outside motions, outside motions, boom, boom. One finger. Now, when we create our one finger, we create a tiger claw. For those of us that have a hard time doing this, expose the pad of the hand, and then close the fingers. Now, stick one finger up, and that's one finger divides China. Press 10,000 pounds. Now, how heavy do you think 10,000 10, pounds is? How heavy is 100 pounds? So imagine 10 of the heavy bags and you had to lift all of them. And then imagine that times 10. That's 10,000 pounds. That's quite a bit. Okay. So when we push 10,000 pounds, we don't want to drop the 10,000 pounds and then somehow magically pick it back up and then press it and then drop it again. We sustain the 10,000 pounds and we pretend that we're actually pushing the entire time it's called dynamic tension so you press and tense and even on the way back you're still tense and press and tense and on the way back you're also tense one more time press out and breathe out tense okay. 
Now, after that, we have double dragon leap from C. So that's exactly what the name says, just like we do uh, dragon leap from C. We do double dragons, or twin dragons leap from C, and then establish an iron bridge, which is your bridge arms together. Both bridge arms together is what we call iron bridge. Hmm? Now, soft bridge left is an outside block. But it's only an outside block with one hand and a push with the other. And then we're coming back to center to push. It's an outside block, and if you can think about it, think either inside block or push the flower up the sleeve, right? So you do both, and then come back to center for a shove. Hmm. Hero holds a pot, right? So big clay pot, clay pot or clay uh, urn you want to block up. The thumbs are in, and the palms are pressed outward. Right, straight but not straight, bent but not bent. So essentially, hero holds a pot is double bow spear the flower, right? Same hand motion, just pointed up. So that's the only difference is from down to up. They're both done in a horse stance. And to crop, uh, scoop the moon from the bottom of the sea. Crane flashes its wings. Crane folds wings. Now, before we do it again, I want to talk about crane folds wings. If you notice from Beauty Looks in the Mirror, crosswind bends the willow. If we do them together, it's very similar to crane folds wings. Right now, last couple motions, twin daggers cut the bridge, and you're going to make your circles. Right? We went over this last class. Big circles. Big circles. Big circles, and you're going to stop one hand first. So since we block left first, we're going to circle one, two, and when we get to three, we're going to stop with the left hand and then push and strike with the right hand. Next, we're going to circle one, two, three, and we're going to stop with the right hand and strike out. Boom. Pull the hands into the chest and then push them out, right, blocking behind you. Okay? Let's give it a try. Raise the sun and moon. Vulture pulls its wings. Double bow spears the flower. Duck traverses water. Press 10,000 pounds. Double dragons leap from sea. Establish an iron bridge. Soft bridge left. Soft bridge right. Hero holds a pot. Scoop the moon from the bottom of the sea. Crane flashes its wings. Crane folds wings. Twin daggers cut the bridge. Tiger defends left. Tiger defends right. Tiger defends behind. Tiger cleans its whiskers. And we end. Self-mastery requires balanced emotions. Balanced emotions do not yield to negativity. Yeah. Take a two-minute break. We'll be right back for leopard and snake sections of the 108. Those are the two sections that happen after what we just did. So it's poison hands, iron body. Now we're doing leopard and snake.